Hello, everybody. Welcome to Messages from Above, Psychic Medium, Tony G. Um, I'm Tony Green, and I'm going to be doing 30 minutes of answering questions um, from callers. The number is 845-277-9131. Again, 845-277-9131. <laughs> Hi, Genevieve. I'm so happy to see you on the line this morning. I hope you had an amazing weekend. I'm going to go over to the first um, caller. And remember, one question per caller. So here we go. 919. Hi, how are you today? Hi. Great. Thank you for taking the call. My name is Kay. Uh-huh. And um, my question is, um, it's regarding my relationship with my girlfriend and partner. We had a big disagreement last weekend. Things are still kind of shaky, and I'm just wondering how soon will things get back on track? Okay. Uh, first, I'm really sorry to hear about your your disagreement. Um, it's it's going to work out. Here's the thing, though. Um, this big disagreement was like the cherry on top. So you have to go back. <laughs> oh, this is not what people love to hear, but but it's the truth, right? Okay, so so in every relationship, I don't care what kind of relationship, it can be a relationship between you and your goldfish, okay? I don't care. <laughs> but in every <laughs> every relationship, um something happens and then we we let it go and we let it go and we let it slide and we let it slide. And then we kind of passively yeah. mention something. And then we, so what I'm getting for yeah. you is there's this whole big pile of ice cream that needs to be cleaned up. So it's time to have, and, and what I'm hearing about you and your partner personally, don't, don't try to clean up everything at once because there are some, sensitivities in this relationship and with both of you you're both yeah. extremely sensitive people so having that yeah. no knowing that knowing it uh find a way to um slowly say things without um be, is saying them in a critical way saying them in a way that is uh yeah. with uh, in a loving way for 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 whatever that means however that means for the two of you i do feel like things are going to be okay midweek but i am going to tell you not only for you for ev ev everybody 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 okay i cannot sing i do not know why they try to make me sing especially live but i can i have like the worst like I have a lot of gifts and talents. Singing, it's not even on the list, but still they make me break out in verse as though I'm like in a choir or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, we are going to, we're at the end of letting go of deep-rooted issues. A astrologically, and I'm not an astrologer, um, that is not one of my gifts either, but we're at the end of letting go of deep-rooted issues. And these are usually childhood issues, things yes, that, yes. that, you know, yes. these are the programs yes. and patterns that we had in our childhood. And now it's like, okay, hello, I'm coming up to say hi. Are you going to push me all the way down and live another year like this? Or are we going to work through it? Now, the problems that you and your partner are having aren't always about your yeah. partner. I have this strong belief our partners are our mirrors. Yeah. They show us what we love, what we hate, what we need to heal. And, and most importantly, if we can look at it that way, when something when the poop hits the fan, hopefully it stops there and it doesn't yeah. splatter through the fan on everybody. Oh, that is just the most disgusting analogy. Yeah. Thanks, Spirit. But it's true. But it's true. I know exactly it, what you're talking about. So, yes. One hundred percent, right? So, when something comes up. Yes, I'm going to work. Yes. Good, 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 good. Because that's the most important thing. Go, you know, why does this bother? Now, here, moving forward over, especially this week, and I want to say the next month and a half, 
there are some aspects coming in that are going to just put people on edge. And, uh, and uh, locally, in our home, when I say locally, I mean in our home. In our home, this could just mean like a lot of little one-off comments that lead to fights. Like, why don't you clean that up? <laughs> that leads yeah, to a fight. Yes, I understand. I understand. <laughs> so over the next month, month and a half, um, there are going to be a lot of, uh, and more glo globally, and when I say globally, I mean all of the countries, there's going to be some revolts going on. People are going to be done with some stuff. There's going to be a lot of clashing over the next month want um like we're at a point where okay and this is in our homes in our cities in our states and then like globally like they're saying <laughs> like it's that tom hanks movie we want the truth and then them going you can't handle the truth and us going we'll just try us <laughs> you know so whether it's in our yeah. home po yeah personal home or personal relationship all the way to global stuff. We're very unsettled and we need to, um, we need, we need answers or we're going to want answers. And over the next month, month and a half, um, we are going to be on edge. So having said all of this for you, please, whatever comes in, don't let this be the first major thing that led to the last major thing take a step back don't react okay. take okay. a moment and think about things before you respond not only for you but everybody else so here's what I'm going to do there's we have a lot of pent up anger and I'm getting a yes on that so I'm going to start clearing pent up anger for anybody listening re-listening um and people always go, I'm not angry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you're not angry. <laughs> okay. Then then this yeah. won't affect you. Then you have nothing to worry about. Um, right, 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 right. So let's call it anger, frustration, resentment. Let's just clear all that stuff out. Because yeah. whether it's for us or our partner or whomever else, we just we don't want to carry that around anymore. It's just too heavy. It's just too much. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, by Wednesday, everything Thank you should so be much. looking. I appreciate that. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. By Wednesday, everything should be looking better. Find some. The a really big okay. thing for the two of you is to find some constructive hobbies other than net, Netflix and chill. Um, other than that, yeah. some active. Yes. Some, yes, something yes. the two of you can do that's an an act. <laughs> oh, spirit, you are hilarious. An active, an activity that requires action, such as bike riding or um, anything along those lines. Whatever works for the two of you, and get out in nature. That's really important right now. Breathe full on fresh oxygen in. Okay, love. Thank you That's so much. Wonderful. And I, I, me oh, I'm sorry. Um, thank you so much for calling in. I um, I hope that was helpful. And if you stay on the line, there are going to be more clearings that will be very helpful for your situation. So I'm going to go directly to the next caller, and that is five five one. Hi five five one. How are you today? Hi. 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 It's been a while. This is happy. Hi, how can I help you today? Oh, well, I'm just calling to see if you saw me um, at taking the best position in Georgia because I'm doing a relocation finally. And I just wanted to see what did you see for that. Is it a good situation that I'm going to see? Okay, so the first thing I hear is yes, and it's kind of difficult to hear you if you're on speakerphone. If you could um, go off of speakerphone because it's kind of like a megaphone sounding sort of thing. If not, I apologize for that. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's so much better. Is Thank that better? you. Yeah, so much better. Um, okay. 
Yeah, and I hear at this point, the sooner the better. There, there are some things waiting for you in this relocation. So it's it's really funny because um, we all want to make a move. We all want to jump. We all want to do something that is um, new and exciting. But but we kind of drag our heels on it, right? We kind of. But I, I'm getting this move. Yes, we're we're afraid. But one of the one of my favorite things that spirit always says um, to people is if you weren't afraid, what would you do? And even more importantly, if you weren't afraid, who would you be? How would you show up? Now moving always gives us a chance to kind of reinvent ourselves. Like we don't have to show up as the same person that people have known or expect us to show up as. So relocating okay. to like a whole nother area Oh, let the remodeling, the reinventing, the rehashing begin, yeah. right? You get to, nobody knows well, the, yes. Yeah. So well, I guess my, my biggest thing was I was more nervous about this uh, housing because um, I'm trying to get a home down here because, you know, rent is just as much as mortgage. Mm -hmm. So I guess that was more of the nervousness, just making sure I don't overstay my welcome at family's home. So just working on that, did you? Um, yeah. That, I guess that's more of the... I actually get it's going to fall into place more quickly than you think. So be ready. Like, they're showing me... Okay, so I don't know if this makes sense to you, and I hope it does, like there are things okay. waiting there for you. So when you get there, you're going to kind of like trying to be catching your breath. You're going to hit the ground running. Everything's going to kind of fall yeah. into place. You're not going to have a pause. You're not going to be like put on pause like, oh, I'm going to yeah. staycation at my grandmoms or my moms or my sisters. I'm just going to chill back yeah. and relax and have a mojito. That 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 poop's not happening. I'm just telling you now, you're going to get there yeah. and your life is going to kind of take off. You're going to be like, okay, so for what what I'm hearing, and I hope this makes sense to you, it's like down home, but get home. Like, get it on because it's it's going. Like, as soon as you get there, it's like um, yeah. this whole new energy takes takes over you. And you're like, why didn't I do this yeah. sooner? You're... And, and actually, don't I you know, I, I just want to tell you one hit that I just got, and I just la 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 love this. I mean, I la 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 love it. You're going to start having investment properties once you get there. You, wow. Okay. You, you're right. You're like, I'm worried about one. I don't know about multiple, but I'm going to tell you, you are going yeah. to team up with, I don't know. It, I don't know exactly. Okay, so you're going to find properties and they don't really need to be rehabbed in the way we think of a rehab. It's not a total tear down. It's more aesthetic stuff that you and maybe a family member, It's but it's not a family member, but it feels like a family member. Uh, maybe somebody else is already doing this and you jump in on it at some point. I'm just saying... And it might not happen immediately, but it is going to happen. You, you, you know, I'm just going to say this too. Okay, I'm not even finishing sentences because so much information is coming I'm, in I'm right now. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> so some like the surge of energy. Yes, it's so good. So some places we do much better in. Than other places like when I go to Florida my allergies I don't have any allergies at all right so that place for me is a much healthier environment for me personally um, and I love that area okay but there are places mm -hmm. that we can go to where our energy it it mixes with the energy of, of the environment and it kind of comes up and shoots through us and we take off. And and for you, this is one of those. You're just going to have a lot of opportunities. Opportunities. They're saying use discernment. They're saying 
Go, go with the flow, but be smart about it. Don't take every opportunity. Look at every opportunity closely. I feel like there's going to be proper teas that you own there eventually. Not, not all at once. I even see like a, a place where there's a property in the front and a property in the back. And it's a, it's a, it's not, I just see there's going to be a lot of opportunity. So stop. Stop uh, talking yourself out of your future. Oh, I love that line. That's a really good line. Yes, because we I all do it, it I, right? I had an anxiety attack about moving. Okay. Um, last week. I, I drove my phone up. Yeah, I was so nervous. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to use the term stuck, okay? Uh, we are stuck, and this is its oh, own who. This isn't only for moving. This is for um, work and any area of our life. So I'm going to do this clearing being stuck or this st whatever is keeping us stuck. There's something keeping us stuck. Yes. So let's let's clear that. And you know what? All the time I'm going to tell you this time after time after time after time. This is not another person keeping us stuck. It's not something somebody else is saying or doing. It's a program that we are running in our head of something that has never happened, but we're afraid is going to happen. Or something that happened in the past, but we've already learned that lesson. So seriously, we don't need to repeat it, right? And we need to move forward and be like, okay, it, it, Am I going to stay stuck forever or am I going to overcome my thought, which is basically what it is. Let's overcome our little thought in our head and jump, right? So that's really what it is. So I want to tell you, the sooner you go, the better and the happier you're going to be. So when you do this, please call me and let, you can call me before that, but let me know. Because I want to hear okay. all about how everything falls into place for you. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really feel butterflies in my stomach right now. See, and oh, that's another thing. I would thank you for saying that. Sometimes when we get anxiety, we think it's anxiety, but it's our soul being so excited that we're taking this next step. So really have discernment. The word, your word of this whole thing is discernment. Have discernment about what properties you accept. Discernment about your feelings and really getting to the bottom of this is excitement. This isn't sadness. You know, this is this is me being excited because my soul knows I'm back on my path and I'm getting there. So really be in that place where that's what your your mind is dictating your emotions instead of your emotions or your feelings in your body um, telling, jumping to the, the worst case scenario or worst conclusion about that. I hope that made sense. I really do. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. It really did. I really needed to hear that. Good. You have an amazing rest of the day and we will Talk soon, okay? All right, thank you. You are welcome. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, and the next caller is um, 862. Hey, 862, how are you today? Hi. Hi. How can I help you? Hi, this is Ashley. Uh, hi, I was just calling about uh, going back to school and uh, if you saw me going back to school for um, a higher degree, like a law degree or a uh, MBA. Okay. Um, going back to school, I hear yes immediately. And do you, ha I don't know why I'm hearing this, so I'm just going to ask you, do you have really strong math skills? Like, uh, I wouldn't say that, but um, I love numbers. I'm into okay, numerology. Maybe, maybe that's why I'm hearing it because I hear I keep hearing math, math, math. So maybe that's the numbers thing. Um, okay, so whatever you decide to go back to school with, 
you're going to do very, very well, okay? I do feel like you okay. need to figure out why you... Uh, oh, how, how, how... Okay, why you're... Why, Okay, I okay, thank you. You need to figure out what do you really want to like I don't want to say be when you grow up but really research what you want to do um with whatever education you get. What's going to really feed that passion? What's going to be um make it worth it to, I like, to uh, you? Start, no, go ahead. The startup businesses Oh. Um, startup businesses, like showing people how to start their companies, I really enjoy doing that. Okay. Well, uh, if you know what, <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. And I think you should take it one step further. And I think that you should not only show people how to start businesses. I think you should start a program. <laughs> Let me tell you about your life and your life path. Let me tell you what you're doing. I'm, I'm so sorry. I think you should really think, consider about starting like a, a program for kids and it talking about entrepreneurship. Because by the time they hit college, they're taught to fit into somebody else's business. And we really need people out there teaching them about having their passion and following that passion and how we, uh, what, what being an entrepreneur entails and how they can reach that goal. So that I think is going to be a passion project of yours. And I think it's going to be something. It is. Awesome. Well, then now, so that is what they're confirming for you. This is what you're supposed to do. This is where you're supposed to go. But also helping helping adults start a business, but teaching them all the, the aspects of business. Also, don't limit it to this. It's going to be a series of four or five programs for different age groups and genres. And I'll tell you something. Some of the most successful business people are pre preteens that 12 that 10 11 12 year old age bracket they have great ideas great creativity and they are they're smashing it in business if they get a business idea nobody's beat down their dreams yet nobody's told them they can't yet so even working with that age group and getting them into that this is what you need to do um, with no limit, no limits, no caps, because because they don't know limits and caps at that point. They don't know like uh, the programming that you get later on in life. They really do develop products and just take off with them. Um, so really, that is something that I think if you follow right. that, you're going to do amazing with it. It's going to be an amazing path for you. Okay. Do you think that um, requires a higher degree? Um, honestly, I'm going to say I think you have everything you need. If you tap into your what you already have, you're going to be really surprised at how much you already know about this and what you can do with it, especially with the different age groups. Um you going back to school is something that's a personal choice for you that will help you feel more accredited or just accomplish more throughout this lifetime. So it's never a bad idea to go back. I don't necessarily think that you need it for this particular path. I hope that makes sense to you. Thank you. You are so welcome. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. And I hope I get to hear back from you. And on that, I'm going to say, you know, we all have a life path. So I'm going to do, um, we're block, uh, we're on our life path. And I get a no. So I'm going to clear that. So anybody listening, re-listening, um, 
if you're not on your life path or if you're on your life path and you're running into little stumbles, this will help clear that out for you. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 916. Hello, 916. How are you today? Okay, we're going to skip 916 and we are going to go to 310. Hello, 310. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? How can I help you? Well, I have a two-part job question. Um, so back in January, um, I was blamed for something that I didn't do that wasn't my fault. They suspended me. A week later, they fired me. The union has refused to take my case to arbitration, even though I'm innocent. So at this point, what I've done, I've done two things, and I want to see what you see of this. The first thing, I'm still looking for a lawyer to file a lawsuit against them. So I'm wondering if you see me getting one and being successful. And the other part of the question is, I sent um, a constructive letter as to what happened and everything, and my, my work ethics and everything, and how my heart and soul lied into this job and how much I love the job. And I sent it to the executive board. I sent a copy to the um, executive um, HR department and everything. They said they're going to have, and then they're examining everything. I also told them about the harassment that I endured between two different coworkers, two PC brothers. So with all, all that being said, and even the CEO has gotten my letter, so with all that being said, I'm just wondering, um, do you see uh, any kind of a good outcome for me on this? Like if, if the executive is going to reconsider my position there, or the company, or what's going to happen with that? Okay, that's a... That's a bit much going on. So, and I'm I I'm gonna do the best I can for you in the short time I have. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna put you on mute while I answer your question because there is some background noise coming in. The first thing I want to say is um, everything that happens to us happens for us. It, it's not actually happening to us. It's happening for us. And sometimes even though something doesn't feel fair or right or the circumstances are being lied about, sometimes we have to embrace the fact that maybe this was not our place, not our thing. And if you were experiencing harassment already, um, that maybe spirit stepped in and said, you know what, we're going to take you out of this because we have something better for you. OK, and we're going to put you in this better thing. This often happens with relationships. We fight and fight and fight and fight for a relationship. We fight and fight and fight for this person we love. We fight and fight and fight and fight for this job. Um, and in the end, if we would have just relinquished everything, taken a breath, we would have asked ourselves, what am I fighting for and why am I the only one fighting for it? Right. And, and in a job situation, if you're removed from a situation, a lot of times you're removed for your protection in relationships too. If it comes to an end, a lot of times that's for your protection. It's because not even some somebody better was out there. It's just if you're struggling this much in a situation, it's time to find a new better place uh, uh, with people more in alignment with you. So as far as the job goes, please understand um, if you were already being harassed, this isn't something you want to go back to. Think about that. Move forward with dignity and grace and don't fight for something that didn't necessarily work out. Mm -hmm.